Hello, and thank you for taking the time to review the contents of the Introduction to Machinery Alignment Training Tutorials. There are 11 individual training modules that will give you a really great starting point to understand the basic information you should be aware of prior to installing and aligning industrial rotating machinery. These training tutorials will discuss information that will hopefully assist anyone who is responsible for repairing, installing, or maintaining rotating machinery such as motors, turbines, pumps, fans, gears, compressors, and generators. The information is intended for trades personnel, maintenance supervisors, training instructors, mechanical procedure writers, vibration analysts, engineers, maintenance managers, and any interested operations personnel. This presentation will cover the major topics in each tutorial. The introductory series containing all 11 tutorials encompasses over five hours of in-depth training. None of the individual tutorials are over 45 minutes long, so you can learn each concept in a short period of time and move on to the next one, on your schedule and at your convenience. The topics in Tutorial 1 will cover the four key ingredients you need to successfully align rotating machinery. This tutorial will illustrate all of the symptoms you would likely see on misaligned machinery and the problems misalignment causes. There is some very basic technical information on rotating shafts and the bearings that support them that should be very informative for anyone who is just being introduced to industrial rotating machinery as well as people who have had several years experience to supplement their current knowledge base. Additional information will provide you with a good understanding of the types of destructive forces that act on our machinery that eventually cause the failures we are trying to prevent. The shaft alignment tolerances tutorial discusses the common terminology used in alignment of rotating machinery. A detailed discussion on how flexible couplings work and the one common design feature that every coupling must have to accommodate a misalignment condition is conveyed. A concise definition of shaft alignment is presented and a meticulous description of how to determine your maximum misalignment deviation and if that deviation is within acceptable misalignment tolerances. Statistical information is presented to give you an idea of the survivability rate of machinery that is subjected to various amounts of misalignment, providing you with the financial justification to improve the quality and accuracy of your alignment work. The eight steps of machinery alignment tutorial will cover in great detail each step that you should perform to effectively find and correct any misalignment condition. Guidelines showing the approximate yet realistic amount of time it typically takes to perform all of the required tasks for a thorough alignment job are presented. A discussion on which trade, management, and technical professionals should be accountable for our rotating equipment is presented, and an explanation of why they should become knowledgeable in a subject that is not taught in any formal academic institutions. The tutorial on foundations, base plates, and frames will discuss the basic design principles of the structures that hold our machinery in a stable position. A detailed list of problems to watch out for and how to assess the integrity of these important anchoring systems to ensure that our machinery maintains proper alignment over long periods of time. The tutorial on runout explains what it is, how it happens, and what are acceptable and unacceptable amounts of runout on rotating shafts. It will also show how this problem can easily be overlooked when aligning our machinery 
and what consequences will occur if it's not corrected. The tutorial on Sawfoot discusses the true nature of this complex problem that occurs on at least 80% of the machinery in industry. The seminar explains what Sawfoot is, why it should be corrected, how to find it, and the four steps required to correct it. This problem is frequently misunderstood, resulting in considerable amount of frustration or complete failure when attempting to correct it. If you choose to ignore this issue, it is possible that you will never achieve acceptable alignment tolerances, so it is strongly recommended that you master how to find and correct this. The tutorial on external connections to rotating machinery discusses the issues that arise from excessive piping, ductwork, and conduit stresses. Suggestions on how to conduct an external connection stress test is discussed to determine if corrective actions are warranted to reduce or eliminate these undesirable forces on our equipment. This tutorial is recommended for everybody who deals with rotating equipment to provide you with a fundamental understanding of static and dynamic forces in machinery, what causes vibration, and what vibration analysis can and cannot detect. A detailed description of what happens to our rotating shafts when they are subjected to moderate to severe misalignment conditions. Results of a controlled misalignment study examines what happens to machinery when subjected to misalignment and several case histories on misaligned industrial drive systems are shown to illustrate the confusion surrounding the relationship of vibration and misalignment on industrial machinery. In the tutorial on basic alignment measurements, you will see how to roughly align machinery shafts. You will also be introduced to all five alignment measurement methods and shown how to override a runout condition to ensure that the center lines of rotation are collinear. This tutorial will cover several tips, tricks, and techniques to ensure you get accurate alignment measurements. It will also explain what the validity rule is and how it can help you when measurements may be difficult to obtain. The final tutorial will explain how to measure and compensate for bracket sag and why you should probably not keep couplings engaged when you are taking alignment measurements.